everybody welcome back to the layout in this video I will be uh, continuing uh, the modeling of the oil pump scene as you can see I have uh, finally uh, received uh, the oil pump uh, kit so the next thing I will be doing is uh, putting together this uh, kit so let me show you what's in the box not a lot of parts and the instructions are here so the first thing to do is put together uh, the keyer box it doesn't uh, look to be uh, very complicated so let me start on this so I painted uh, the gearbox in a dark gray color uh, and I will use this, uh, the same color uh, on the rest of the oil pump. Uh, as you can see, I've also started assembling uh, the gear inside uh, the box. So now these two halves need to be put together and secured by a couple of screws. I have uh, painted the other parts as well and uh, started assembling uh, the rest of the kit. So all of the gearbox and uh, all the parts uh, belonging to it I have been uh, put together and the same here for um, the beam with the horse head and, uh, and the support structure so these two parts will go on this uh, plate here so I'm gonna finish uh, the assembling of, of the kit and then install it on the layout so most of the parts have been glued on the base plate and um, the next thing is to uh, hook it up with uh, the motor. So this is the motor and there is uh, this bracket so, this, uh, so the motor has to be mounted onto this and that will then be glued uh, below the base plate here. I have now glued uh, the bracket with the motor inside uh, below the base plate and as you can see I had to glue uh, an additional strip of white polystyrene um, and the reason for that was that uh, the screws that came with the kit uh, didn't really fit, they were too small and um, so I couldn't really attach uh, the motor uh, very tightly to the bracket and I solved it in this way. So then I also um, glued, um, let me do like this and hopefully I'll get it in focus. Yeah, so you can see there's a thread from the horse head going down that attaches to a wire which is going through the well head. And then at the base I hang a couple of bolts um, just for some additional weight so that uh, the wire is kept uh, as straight as possible. And then this is the way uh, how it works. So I just use a 9 volt uh, battery uh, to test it all out. And um, so this is uh, more or less ready to be placed on the, the layout. So it works quite nicely. The motor does make quite a, quite a lot of noise. But um, yeah, all in all it works uh, quite well. And this is the entire kit uh, finished. So I added uh, the fences around it. And I did uh, all the weathering. So I added a lot of uh, oil spills at the wellhead, as you can see. And I also added um, a sign on the side. So this now is uh, ready for the layout. So before uh, placing the oil pump, um, I want to finish uh, as much as possible uh, of the rest of the scene. So I've started uh, filling in this gap here. And then uh, this track and this track will have to be um, ballasted. 
but uh, before ballasting I need to uh, put up a, a small retaining wall up to maybe about here and for the retaining wall I'm going to use um, this here so that will go there and then I will have another another small piece and so I will end up about here and that's far enough and so this I can make even by uh, by using plaster or something so the retaining wall uh, will also have to be painted and then um, it's a ballasting so I glued uh, a small retaining wall in place here the glue is still drying as you can see and so now the other thing I need to do before I can start the ballasting is to build up a sort of a shoulder here so that uh, the ballast is not uh, falling off and once that is in place I will be ballasting from uh, over there to all the way about here just short of where uh, the lift bridge will be so I added uh, a little bit of filler uh, along the track from here as you can see so this is uh, building up uh, a little shoulder so that will hopefully be enough uh, to hold the ballast uh, in place so that not um, so I I hope that the ballast will um, sort of be held in place uh, against uh, this little ridge here and as you can see I've also filled in uh, this this gap here so I'm gonna paint this um, with a brownish uh, color and then uh, it's time for um, ballasting I've uh, given uh, the white filler a base coat of um, brown and I've also started ballasting uh, this piece of track so I started over there with the point so you need to be a bit careful there and then it's just uh, both tracks from there up to about here so it's just a small uh, piece but uh, the ballasting uh, is not really something uh, I enjoy a lot uh, so just want to get it done and um, yeah it's just this piece that I need to do because um, uh, I want to complete this corner here so the scene here and so the ballasting is just a part of that so it, it needs to be done now so I have uh, the ballast in place and I soaked it or sprayed it with uh, water with uh, a couple of drops of uh, dishwasher detergent and so now I have to glue it in place and I'm going to use a 50-50 mixture of wood glue and, and water to do that all right so the ballast is glued in uh, place and it turned out quite well I'm particularly happy uh, with the retaining uh, wall how that fits in uh, very nicely with the ballast I think that uh, that looks really good so now I have to uh, paint it weather it in a similar fashion as uh, I've done over there so we're gonna paint the rails in a rust color and then weather the ballast And that is also uh, the painting and the weathering uh, done. So let me zoom in. So I've added uh, rust color on the sides of the of the track, and then I um, added uh, black brownish weathering on the ties in between the track and on the sides. So 
So I think that looks uh, quite okay. Uh, I checked uh, the currents, uh, the power on the track, um, because um, if you start painting uh, points like these, um, you might get uh, trouble with uh, the power on the track, but everything is working okay. So that seems to be uh, all fine. But the other thing I uh, need to mention here is that um, uh, I did run into a problem here with uh, the point motor. So the point itself uh, went okay uh, regarding the gluing. But I managed to uh, get glue into the point motor uh, underneath. Uh, and actually I had to remove uh, the point motor and open it up. But the problem is that after opening up the point motor um, and putting it back together again, uh, it didn't work anymore. Um, it's like the motor inside has too little power and now it's running into too much resistance. So I'm going to have to replace this one. Um, all in all, um, I'm not so very happy with these uh, point motors. These are MP5 uh, point motors. And I think they are uh, not very robust. Um, I've had more point motors with problems. Uh, especially if you need to um, remove them for one or the other reason and then uh, put them back in place. Uh, they tend to uh, not work uh, as good any longer. So I'm now uh, evaluating whether I should uh, change all of my point motors on the layout to something else which is a bit more robust. But these definitely are not uh, very robust in my opinion. I've uh, made some further uh, preparations to place uh, the oil pump. So um, the oil tank will uh, be placed in this area and I uh, made a couple of uh, pipelines. Uh, those are made from leftover material from the oil pump kit. Um, and then here I placed um, a fence on both sides of the road and so um, obviously I had to cut a hole um, where the uh, motor of the oil pump will be uh, sitting and I placed a small sign and so now I will be adding uh, some gravel type underground in this whole area all right, so this is the entire scene uh, finished. So the pump is uh, put in place. And the motor is hooked up. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Then uh, the oil tank is put in place. And the pump uh, in front of that. And then in front of the oil pump, uh, I've um, weathered it and, and given it a, a bit of oil stains so you have to imagine that uh, an oil tanker is uh, pulling up in front of the pump and then filling up and that there will be uh, lots of oil spills and then there is a little gravel road uh, in front of the oil pump which is going into the tunnel uh, I put the fences uh, on either side, given that uh, a greenish uh, teal uh, color and I uh, put a bit of rust on that as well. I don't know if it's possible to see. And I put a little bit of grass on either side of the fences. I also put in, um, I glued in place a uh, a couple of bushes along the mountain here and also on this side. Uh, the other thing that I want to add here is uh, at least uh, a tanker truck and maybe uh, another truck uh, coming up the road here. Uh, you may wonder what, uh, what this is for. Um, so I made this so that I can have um, this piece of glass here 
and that is uh, for protection uh, because this uh, scene is right next to the entrance door so it's very easy that uh, when you reach out and switch on the light that you um, hit the oil pump so this is uh, just a, a protection uh, against that from happening another little detail here um, which is something that i still need to fix uh, i ended up with a rather big uh, knot um, on this thread here uh, and that's not supposed to be there so i will have to fix that but i'll, I'll i won't do that now i'll do that uh, another time but that's something that needs to be fixed and then for the power supply of the oil pump um, i just daisy chained that from the power uh, that i used um, for the point motors so that's this switch here and if i switch it on you see the rotor in action or the pump in action 